Hello everybody. Today I wanted to do a video about Charlie Adelson's alibis. And I've been thinking about this for a while and I have made a list of five things that are solid alibis for Charlie. And we might see him get his day in court sometime in the future because of evidence surrounding him in the Dan Markell murder. But today I wanted to focus on his alibis and I think that these alibis will be a huge part of his defense if the state decides to prosecute him in the solicitation of murder of Dan Markell. So let's get to the first item on the list. Charlie was in South Florida at the time of Dan Markell's murder on July 18th of 2014. He was living in the Fort Lauderdale area and of course cell phone records and people can attest that he was in South Florida and he was not in Tallahassee. I believe his sister Wendy vouched for him when she was in the police interrogation that he was in South Florida at the time of Dan Markell's murder. The second alibi that Charlie Adelson has is that he did not contact Sigfredo Garcia or Luis Rivera. These are the hitmen that did kill Dan Markell and there is no known records of Lee Adelson contacting Sigfredo or Lewis. So the only known communication between the Adelsons and Sigfredo Garcia is a phone call that was placed to Adelson Institute. I'm not quite sure of the date. There was a hang up call to the Adelson Institute in 2014 before the murder, maybe in June. So that was like a hang up call and, and still to this day, we don't know why, but no known communication between Luis Rivera, Sigfredo Garcia and Charlie Adelson. The third alibi that Charlie has is that he didn't know Luis Rivera or Sigfredo Garcia personally. He might have known who Sigfredo Garcia was because that was Catherine McVanua's ex-boyfriend or the father of Catherine McVanua's children, but he did not know Sigfredo personally. They weren't friends. In fact, they did not like each other. They knew of each, each other, but did not know each other personally. And the same thing goes with Luis Rivera and Charlie Adelson. Another alibi that Charlie has in the Dan Markell case is that he was not a gang member. This might be more of character evidence. He was not a part of the gang that Luis Rivera and Sigfredo Garcia were a part of. Although he wanted to be kind of part of a gang or enjoyed, you know, that lifestyle in South Beach and was kind of a party guy, but he was not actually in a gang. He didn't have a criminal record. So this can be looked at as somewhat of an alibi. The fifth thing that could be an alibi for Charlie was that he broke up with Katie after the murder of Dan Markell. So whether he was involved in the murder or not involved, the fact that he distanced himself from Catherine could be looked at as sort of an alibi. He, he was trying to kind of create space, whether he thought she had done something or not, or whether he did solicit the murder through Catherine. This, this is an attempt to create space and to kind of distance himself from those people. And uh, I guess we'll have to see what happens in Catherine McManua's trial. So these are all alibis that I'm sure his defense team is working on at the moment. We'll have to see what kind of defense they come up with. We can only speculate at this point. But guys, thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.